The scene was chaotic as Nurse Mabin rushed through the hospital corridors, her heart racing at the sound of screams echoing from the ward of the girl known as Sleeping Beauty, with over two decades of nursing experience, she had never encountered anything that instilled such fear within her. Sleeping Beauty was more than just a patient to Nurse Mabin, she was like a daughter, for fifteen long years, Maria, as she was named, lay in a coma, a mystery girl found unconscious on a busy city street. Despite efforts to locate her parents, Maria remained abandoned, with no one to bear the burden of her mounting medical bills, Sergio and Catalina, finally emerging as Maria's parents, faced the grim reality of their financial inability to sustain her care, heartbroken, Catalina retreated in tears, leaving Sergio to make the agonizing decision to disconnect Maria from life support, yet, the hospital staff, particularly Nurse Mabin, refused to accept Maria's fate, they rallied together, pooling resources and even launching a GoFundMe campaign to keep her alive, Dr. Eduardo, the compassionate medical director, led by example, contributing generously towards Maria's expenses, despite the overwhelming support, the distance and physical limitations of Maria's parents made consistent visits challenging, recognizing Nurse Mabin's unwavering dedication. Catalina pleaded for her to assume a maternal role in Maria's life, it was a heavy request, but one Nurse Mabin accepted willingly, promising to care for Maria as her own. As the scream subsided, Nurse Mabin entered Maria's ward, her resolve strengthened by the love and support of her colleagues, for Maria, she would be more than just a nurse, she would be her guardian, her protector, her second mother, and amidst the uncertainty, Nurse Mabin found solace in knowing that Maria would never be alone again. The bond between Nurse Mabin and Maria, the girl known as Sleeping Beauty, was a testament to the enduring power of compassion and hope. As Mabin assumed the role of Maria's guardian, she embraced the responsibility with unwavering dedication and love. Months passed, marked by both sorrow and resilience, the loss of Catalina, Maria's mother, weighed heavily on their hearts, casting a shadow over the dim flicker of hope that Maria might one day awaken from her coma, yet, amidst the despair, Sergio and Mabin clung to optimism, refusing to surrender to the grim prognosis that had enveloped Maria for over fourteen years, then. Tragedy struck Nurse Mabin herself, a devastating accident left her confined to a wheelchair, her own recovery uncertain, in her absence, the weight of caring for Maria fell upon Dr. Eduardo, a man whose kindness had been a beacon of light in Maria's darkened existence, however, even in her incapacitated state, Mabin's concern for Maria never wavered, she yearned for updates, for reassurance of Maria's well-being, as if a piece of her own soul resided within the girl's dormant form when Mabin, finally returned to Maria's side, her heart brimmed with anticipation and trepidation, yet, the joy of reunion was swiftly replaced by bewilderment and alarm, Maria appeared altered, her once slender frame now bearing the subtle swell of pregnancy, in a frenzy of disbelief and dread, Mabin demanded further tests, her instinct screaming of a sinister truth lurking beneath the surface, and when the results confirmed her worst fears, revealing Maria's violation at the hands of someone entrusted, with her care, the shock reverberated through the hospital corridors like thunder, Dr. Eduardo's betrayal shattered the fragile sanctuary they had built around Maria, exposing the depths of depravity concealed behind his facade of compassion, yet, amidst the turmoil and outrage, there remained a beacon of hope, the newborn daughter cradled in Maria's arms in a final act of desperation and faith. Mabin placed the infant against Maria's chest, a silent plea for a miracle to breathe life into the dormant soul that lay within, and as the minutes stretched into eternity, as tears blurred the edges of despair, it happened, with a gasp that shattered the silence, Maria's eyes fluttered open, awakening to a world she had long been estranged from, and though her journey ahead was fraught with challenges and uncertainty, she was not alone, Sergio, Mabin, and the devoted hospital staff stood witness to Maria's miraculous rebirth, their hearts ablaze with the flames of hope reignited, for in that, moment, amidst the chaos and anguish, they found redemption in the resilience of the human spirit as they embraced Maria and her newborn daughter, they knew that their story was far from over, it was a tale of courage, of love transcending adversity, and of the indomitable power of the human will to overcome even the darkest of nights and as they embarked on the next chapter of their journey, united in their determination to forge a future filled with promise and possibility, they knew that. Together, 
they could overcome any obstacle that dared stand in their way, for in the end, theirs was a story of hope, of faith, and of the enduring strength of the human heart, and as they faced the unknown horizon that stretched before them, they did so with heads held high, for they knew that as long as they stood together, they could weather any storm that came their way next. Let's enjoy a story that is similar to this one together. When Ida's children left her abandoned and dying in a decrepit house, they expected to return to find her lifeless, however, a year later, they were shocked to discover something entirely unexpected, as they gazed upon the sorry state of the house, Ira couldn't help but wonder how his mother had ended up in such dire conditions. The home where Ida had spent the prime years of her life was now nothing more than a dilapidated shack. Her body, once strong, was now frail and plagued by numerous debilitating ailments, worst of all, she was alone. Abandoned by the very children she had raised and cared for, for years, her children had assisted her with daily tasks, ensuring she was comfortable and well supported, but as Ida's health declined, their ability to meet her needs became increasingly challenging, overwhelmed and emotionally drained, her loved ones found themselves unable to provide the level of care she now required, one by one. Ida's family members made the selfish decision to distance themselves from her, prioritizing their own needs over her well-being, it was a heartbreaking betrayal for Ida, leaving her feeling utterly abandoned and isolated as she struggled to sit up in her bed, gazing out at the once picturesque garden now overrun with weeds, Ida couldn't suppress her anger at being left behind like a burden, despite having spent her life caring for her children and putting herself second, she now found herself alone in her time of need. But Ida refused to succumb to self-pity or defeat, determined to reclaim her independence, she channeled her frustration into fuel for change, she sought out additional resources, tirelessly researching alternative treatments and reaching out to experts for assistance, through her relentless efforts, Ida discovered new therapies and treatments that complemented her prescribed regimen, against all odds, her resilience paid off, with the help of a new doctor, she made gradual yet surprising improvements in her physical condition despite the formidable burdens she faced. Ida's determination proved to be an indomitable force, working in harmony with her medication and treatments, she gradually regained her strength and independence, proving to herself and the world that she was more than just an old lady with aching joints. Ida's journey toward reclaiming her health was a winding road fraught with obstacles, but her unyielding spirit served as a beacon of hope, reminding her of the strength she once possessed and could harness again through sheer willpower, she transformed herself into a living testament of the power of perseverance and self-belief. However, rejuvenating her health was merely the first chapter in Ida's remarkable story of resilience, with a renewed sense of purpose and fueled by her newfound energy, she decided to embark on a bold new venture, turning her attention to her dilapidated house and overgrown garden, which had long been neglected due to her declining health, Ida made a determined commitment to bring back the charm of her beloved home, taking on the challenging task of restoration with sheer determination and unwavering commitment, Ida meticulously planned each step of the project, armed with her indomitable spirit, she tirelessly worked day and night to restore her home to its former glory, peeling away layers of neglect, she skillfully patched up decaying walls and erased years of abandonment as the walls regained their strength. Ida painted them with vibrant colors carefully chosen to reflect the joy and newfound zest for life she possessed, the once gloomy rooms were now bathed in a symphony of hues, breathing life into every corner, just embarking on this project made Ida feel 40 years younger but Ida's ambition didn't stop at the walls of her home, pouring her heart and soul into reviving her once neglected garden, she stood firm against the entangled mess of weeds that had choked the life out of her plants, with unwavering determination, she meticulously uprooted every weed, allowing her flowers and vegetables to receive the much needed sunlight and nutrients they had long been. Denied, amidst the transformation of her house and garden, Ida realized her deep-rooted passion for gardening, determined to create a haven where nature could thrive, she spent countless hours meticulously tending to her plants, exploring the secrets of soil composition, and experimenting with innovative technologies to boost their growth and productivity with each passing day. Ida's unwavering commitment and devotion bore fruitful results, her garden transformed into a mesmerizing landscape. Teeming with life, 
The once barren soil that sat in the shadow of her once ugly house now offered an abundant harvest of luscious organic fruits and vegetables, showcasing the magnificent outcome of her tireless effort. But Ida's accomplishments didn't go unnoticed, her eco-friendly practices and remarkable achievements garnered admiration from friends and neighbors alike, turning her into an inspiration within her community. Motivated by her desire to not only secure a livelihood but also to spread her newfound zeal for produce, Ida embarked on a journey of selling her surplus crops undeterred by her age, Ida cultivated her small business with unwavering dedication, deriving profound satisfaction from bridging connections with fellow community members, the locals wholeheartedly embraced her efforts and eagerly indulged in the delectable farm fresh produce she had to offer, through this gratifying interaction. Ida fostered a deep sense of fulfillment, evolving her small enterprise into a cherished cornerstone of communal appreciation for her unyielding dedication and the bountiful harvest she lovingly shared. In time, her neighbors became regular customers, and then, turned into friends, bound together by admiration for Ida's indomitable spirit and the thriving oasis she had created amidst the challenges she faced. Ida, known for her wisdom, became a revered figure in her community. Visitors sought her advice not just for their gardens but also for life itself, they found themselves entranced by the transformation of this elderly woman who had seemingly reclaimed a second lease on life, in their eyes, she became the community grandma, despite her own family's absence, when Ida's family finally returned after a year, expecting to find her deceased, they were instead greeted by an astonishing sight, the once dilapidated house now stood as a resplendent symbol of Ida's triumph over adversity. They couldn't comprehend the surreal scene unfolding before their eyes, Ida. The epitome of vitality, radiated health and happiness as she strolled gracefully through her flourishing garden, her family, naive to the struggles she had faced in their absence, approached her with expectations of sharing in her newfound success, oblivious to the pain of abandonment, they sought to seamlessly re-enter her life, but Ida's journey had been marked by immeasurable struggles. Leaving her fiercely protective of the life she had built, the wounds caused by their abandonment had left. Lasting scars, reminding her of the loneliness and vulnerability she had endured, determined to preserve her newfound strength and independence, Ida made the difficult decision to turn her back on her family, fully aware of her own resilience and self-assurance, Ida chose to walk away, leaving behind a lesson in self-reliance and inner strength, despite the cruelty of their abandonment. She had emerged as a resilient individual, transforming her life from despair to one filled with hope and Fulfillment reflecting on this inspiring story, one can't help but wonder about the depths of inner strength that lie within us all, if faced with similar adversity, could we summon the courage to stand tall and forge our own path, as Ida did, and could we ever turn our backs on family who had once abandoned us in such a callous manner, take a break and follow me into the next story. When this little girl finally awoke from her three-year coma, the nurses were taken aback by the terrifying. Revelation she made about her mom, Abby Peterson, Abby had once been a normal seven-year-old, full of joy and adventure, but her life took a dark turn shortly after her birthday, it all started with headaches and nausea, symptoms brushed off initially as sun exposure and dehydration, but as Abby's condition worsened, her parents George and Karen grew increasingly concerned, rushed to the hospital. Abby's vomiting and distress led to a grim diagnosis, a brain tumor too delicate to operate on. Despite the best efforts of doctors, Abby's health plummeted, she slipped into a coma, her body reliant on machines to sustain her failing organs, doctors offered little hope, suggesting the unthinkable, turning off the machines, George refused to give up, tirelessly seeking alternative treatments, while Karen's anguish deepened with each visit to her comatose daughter as the months stretched on, hope waned for Karen, who struggled to cope with the emotional weight of Abby's condition, but, George remained steadfast, visiting daily, sharing stories, and clinging to the slightest signs of life, despite doctors' reassurances, he believed he saw movement in Abby, a glimmer of hope amidst despair on the anniversary of Abby's coma, tensions ran high, George vowed to never give up, while Karen's emotional instability reached its breaking point, as she sat beside Abby's motionless form, years of suppressed emotions erupted, hurt, anger, disappointment, and frustration pouring forth in a torrent of despair as Karen stood by Abby's bedside, her heart heavy with despair, she knew she had to speak her truth, 
with tears streaming down her cheeks, she whispered to her comatose daughter of the pain that had gripped their family, it wasn't an easy confession, nor one she ever imagined making, but the weight of the years spent in limbo, caught between hope and despair, had taken its toll Abby, Karen began, her voice quivering with emotion, I can't bear to see you like this anymore, I've prayed for your recovery, hoped against hope that one day you'd open your eyes and smile at us again, but it's been three long years, darling, and the reality is crushing, she recounted the strain that had seeped into their once happy home, the strain of watching George dedicate every waking moment to Abby's bedside, leaving little room for anything else, their marriage, once a source of strength, had frayed under the relentless weight of uncertainty, we don't talk anymore, Abby, Karen continued. Her voice choked with sorrow, we don't laugh or do fun things together like we used to. And it's tearing us apart, your daddy, bless his heart, he refuses to let go, to even entertain the thought of life without you, but I, I can't bear to see you trapped in this limbo, neither here nor there, Karen's words hung heavy in the air, a painful admission of the unthinkable, she spoke of the need for closure, for Abby to find peace, even if it meant letting her go, it was a conversation born out of desperation. Out of the deepest love tinged with heartache, unbeknownst to Karen, her words were overheard by a vigilant staff member who recognized the gravity of her despair, sensing the urgency of the situation, they discreetly relayed the conversation to George, withholding the full extent of Karen's anguish when George confronted Karen, his anger was palpable, his heart heavy with betrayal, how could she entertain such thoughts, utter such words about their beloved daughter, yet, beneath the anger lay a flicker of understanding, a recognition of the immense pain Karen had been. Shouldering alone, in the days that followed, as George grappled with his emotions, they made a tentative agreement to seek counseling, to mend the fractures in their marriage wrought by grief and uncertainty, it was a fragile step towards healing, towards finding solace in each other amidst the chaos and then, amidst the darkness, a flicker of light, a call from the hospital, a voice trembling with excitement as it relayed the miraculous news. Abby had woken up, George and Karen rushed to her. Sighed, their hearts pounding with equal parts hope and trepidation as they watched the doctor's conduct tests, their daughter's voice filled the room, a testament to her resilience in the face of adversity, she recounted the years spent in silent vigil, the snippets of life she'd gleaned from the world around her, but amidst the joy, a shadow loomed, a painful revelation that shattered the fragile peace they'd found. Abby's confession of her mother's words, of the despair that had threatened to consume them all, hung heavy in the air, in that moment, as Karen wept and George seethed with indignation, the future stretched before them, uncertain yet filled with possibility, for though the road ahead would be fraught with challenges, they knew that together, they could weather any storm. Karen approached George with a heavy heart, her eyes brimming with remorse, she acknowledged her wrongdoing, expressing deep regret for the hurtful words she had uttered in a moment of despair, with a tremble in her voice, she confessed her struggles with mental instability, emphasizing that she would retract her words in an instant if she could. In Abby's room, emotions ran high as Karen faced her daughter, her heart heavy with guilt and sorrow, she poured out her apologies, explaining the unbearable anguish of watching Abby suffer, tethered to a bed with uncertain prospects of recovery, through tearful eyes. She reaffirmed her boundless love for her daughter, vowing to make amends for them. Pain her words had caused, with unwavering determination, Karen made a life-altering decision, resigning from her job to devote every moment to Abby's recovery, the year that followed was a testament to her unwavering commitment, as she tirelessly supported Abby through grueling physical therapy sessions, helping her rebuild her strength and regain mobility, but it wasn't just Abby's physical recovery that Karen focused on, she also dedicated herself to nurturing their emotional bond, slowly but Steadily healing the wounds of the past, as mother and daughter embarked on this journey together, George witnessed the gradual restoration of their relationship, finding solace in the renewed connection that blossomed between them as time passed, forgiveness flowed freely between George and Karen, their family strengthened by the trials they had overcome, through it all, they marveled at the resilience of the human spirit, finding hope and redemption in the face of adversity, this story stands. As a testament to the power of love, 
forgiveness, and perseverance, offering a beacon of hope to all who face life's greatest challenges. Thank you for joining us on this journey, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up so you won't miss any of our next videos, we'll be back with more uplifting and inspiring stories.